I am Greg Barnes with Inside Carolina. Along with me here is analyst Rob Harrington as we preview the 2018-19 North Carolina Tar Heels. Rob, a little bit of deja vu. It seems like when we did these years ago, we were talking about Seventh Woods dunk tapes in high school. And as we enter the season, everybody's still talking about his dunk down in the Bahamas. He showed me in the Bahamas that he's healthy, which is most important. He's battled injuries throughout his time here in North Carolina. Uh, but he's strong. He's always played with great effort. I think he can be a good defensive player. Still a little inconsistent offensively. Uh, doesn't seem to exactly know kind of what his, his abilities are, if that makes sense. How do you see him factoring into the point guard rotation this year? You hit on exactly the thing that I think confronts him most is Seventh Woods has to figure out what his identity is for this team. If he's the defender, then he needs to commit to that. I think you're right that he shows flashes of being a good defender, and Roy Williams has talked about that, but he hasn't been consistent. He certainly has not been a shooter or a scorer. I, I don't think he necessarily needs to be because there are people around him who can do that, but then he needs to be a, a ball safety kind of player who cuts out the mistakes he's made in the past. He has to get the ball in the right positions. He needs to still be able to run the break. So it's asking a lot for a Carolina point guard. I think his best shot at winning the starting position is to not commit turnovers because I think as good as Kobe White is, he is a freshman. He will be probably somewhat of a turnover machine. Woods could maybe have an advantage there, be a better defender. He's stronger, so potentially he could potentially get into the lane more if he improves, shows a little bit more ball handling skill. And those are, those are big questions, but I think that's the line he has to hit to win the position. And I think the fact that Kobe White can be a scorer uh, maybe helps Seventh a little bit because, as we saw down in the Bahamas, Roy Williams was willing to play both those guys on the court at the same time. And I think if he's got a scorer beside him, that takes a lot of pressure off of him in trying to score. He can just kind of run the offense and play defense. And Roy Williams has shown in the past that sometimes that's enough. 